Brightest blessings, everyone. Psychic medium Elizabeth Grove, the Paranormal Priestess. Welcome to the Paranormal Priestess YouTube channel. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Elizabeth. I am a medium, divine channeler, remote spirit extractor, white witch, and divine alchemist. And I also happen to be a divine twin flame on the path to reunion. And I really want to just extend my thanks to all of you, first of all, for all your love and support. Thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed to the channel. Thank you to those of you who become clients. I really appreciate all of you. If you are thinking about becoming a subscriber, please do. I'd love to have you here. Um, for those of you who have written beautiful testimonials, thank you so much for them. Um, they're on my website. They are up. Um, and I really am just filled with gratitude for the fact that I get to assist people with my gifts. I get to read for people, I get to extract dark forces and psychic attacks from people, um, and I get to hear just how much my work has really helped you to move forward, and it's really, really important. So, you know, when you guys are, um, you know, purchasing a service, you're letting me know how much it has affected you, and um, reading those testimonials, it really just touches my heart, so thank you so very much. Um, I never thought I'd be doing this work. Um, I've had various jobs in the banking industry, um, university. Uh, I was also a musician. I was a lead singer, singer-songwriter, doing shows and recording albums and um, doing photo shoots and all of that. And this, the spiritual realm was always a part of my life. Uh, magic was always a part of my life, but I never thought that I was going to be doing the work that I do today all around the world. No sorry. Um, it, it really is pretty amazing, uh, the calling and how everything come, came together. Um, I was on uh, internet radio, and then I was doing podcasting, and then... I got this huge, huge pull to go onto YouTube, and it was not to get on any type of twin flame train at all. It was literally to just get out there and reach more people um, with your messages, with your gifts, uh, with your inspiration. Um, and I'm just so happy that I listened to it. I'm so, so glad that I listened to it. Um, so this video, it goes into this really nicely because it's all about gratitude and people often ask me you know what I could do to create a better life for myself what can I do to manifest and manifestation it really it's really based upon you it really is you are a powerful being you truly are and it's about us realizing that all of those um, stories, uh, negative beliefs, and all, all of that conditioning that we really think is us and we allow that to be our truth, um, it's not our truth. And when we are able to clear that and release it, it's not serving us and get rid of those, those things, um, those, those thoughts. We are then able to realize, wow, we are not victims. To our circumstances we are not victims to society to other people we really do have all the power to create and manifest a reality that brings us joy brings us happiness brings us peace but will you be willing to receive that right um, gratitude is this huge huge way of opening doors to manifestation it really, really is. And if you're watching this in real time, you know, Thanksgiving season, holiday season, um, especially the year that we had, wow. I mean, it just makes it so much easier, I think, to um, take a look at what we really do have in our lives. What are we abundant with already? We're always looking for other things. We're always looking at the glass half full. Um, we're always looking for um, something, a lot of people are looking for things or looking for someone to create that happiness, to create that fulfillment. But you see, every time you're looking for things outside of yourself to create that happiness, that joy, that peace, that's when we're in separation. We always talk about union, but that's when you're in separation, you're in division. We are a part of a greater source. You are a source incarnated. You have all of the tools. You have everything inside of you to bring you that happiness and that joy and that peace and all of that. 
abundance. Um, we have to look at the things that we do have. Okay, um, for those who are, think, we'll just take love for an example. Um, you know, for people who are looking for love outside of themselves, um, what I really urge you to do, of course, is, is go through a lot of the things that, um, maybe those stories, those traumas, that conditioning as to why you feel like you need someone to come in to bring you that, that love. Um, and then take a really good look at the fact that you are that love and be grateful for the love that you are. Be grateful for the love that is all around you right here and right now. Be grateful for the fact that you are a part of a loving source. You are a loving soul. Okay? Be grateful. If some of you are, I know are, uh, many of you as a matter of fact, are twin flames, be grateful for that love right here and right now without expecting anything to come out of it. Understand that love is right here and right now. Um, as far as love, notice the love of the family that's around you, the friends that, that are around you, um, the, the love of even nature and the earth and how beautiful the, the plant life, the animals, you know, for a nature walk, I would say that's what's a great way to stay very much grounded to the beauty and the love that is there. Um, so you're not without that love. Every time we think that we're out without something, that's when we're in lack. Right? We have to realize that. So the more you can engage and connect with what you want to bring in more of, more you can give gratitude and notice it and, and be in this positive rapport with it, the more the universe will bring you, bring to you more of that same thing. Um, there's also things like um, some people are um, unhappy with, um, let, let's just take it for instance, like they're unhappy with how they look. Some people have struggles with loving themselves um, in that way, you know. Um, let's talk about the body. Let's talk about the body in that way, with loving the body, um, the physical body, and also how we relate to the body in terms of health and wellness. So this is a way that you can use gratitude. So we're a lot of times people are in resistance, right? They're in resistance. They don't like something. They want to fix something. They're comparing something, right? And it's all that resistance, right? Um, we want to be able to step into gratitude for who we are, what we look like, and put that positive, positive connection out there with ourselves. Actually, when I think about it, put it in there, right? So then we can attract. Um, tell yourself, instead of the normal criticisms, instead of the normal negative type of judgment, um, take a look in the mirror. Go to the mirror every day and look in your own eyes and really just thank yourself. Thank your soul. Thank your soul. Thank your beautiful, beautiful soul for everything that your soul brings to you, right? Without the judgment, without the criticism. Um, when it comes to the body, thank your body. For some of you who criticize the body or in self-judgment, you know, or compare yourself to others, um, thank your beautiful body. Your body's conscious. And I just want to say this. Your body responds to your thoughts. Some people are in resistance with their body. They're always trying to fix things, change things, control things, right? And I have to tell you, the body doesn't respond in a loving way when we do that. But if we give gratitude for our body, if we give gratitude for the miracles that it brings us every day, our breath, the fact that we can, you know, whatever we can physically do, the miracles, the cells, the organs, how, how everything works so that way you can be here in a human form and function, I mean, it, it really is quite remarkable. It's, it's a miracle, and a lot of people take that for granted. And to realize that there are people out there that have it worse. So we have to really give thanks. And if you are experiencing something that is a physical condition, um, a lot of times we, we draw a lot of attention to what's wrong. We do a lot of complaining, which I know when someone's going through suffering, it's very easy to get caught up in that. But if we can turn that around and change the language and change the script and start thanking our body, thanking your body for the healing, thank your body for the health that you have right here and right now, thank 
your organs, thank your cells, thank all of it. Thank your body for being healthy right here and right now. Even if that's not what you're experiencing with your symptoms, consider it done. Considering it done, that's what helps bring it in, truly. And we're going to talk more about considering it done, um, but we're just going to go through a couple of other things. So um, how about basic needs, especially around the holiday time? What about basic needs? What about food and shelter? These things that a lot of people out there don't have. There's wars going on. There are homeless people. People are out of work because of COVID-19. A lot of people don't have your basic needs, and they're struggling. Um, and it's such a beautiful thing to be able to, to give, right? Giving, giving is, is such a, a beautiful thing. Um, when we give, yes, the universe gives us back. But we don't do it just to do that. We give with our hearts. Right? We, give, we give because it just feels so good giving to help somebody else or help an animal. right? Um, but people really don't have things out there. And sometimes we take our shelter and our food for granted. And we're constantly wanting the bigger house or we're constantly wanting more, more, more. We constantly need to buy things because we think that's going to make us happy. And all those things, and we don't stop to really give thanks for all the things that we have right here and now. That opens the doorway. It truly opens the doorway to such a, a, a beautiful influx of abundance that brings joy, brings, brings peace. Um, and I, I think a lot of people just get caught up in uh, not not stepping into that gratitude. Um, I have to tell you what I like to do, uh, and I, this might help you, is when I, first thing when I wake up, I like to find something I'm grateful for and think of that. Um, I then like to write a grateful list. So a lot of people talk about writing grateful lists, right? Um, I'm thinking of Jimmy Fallon right now. Thank you. <laughs> right, it's a big it right now. I don't know why, it just, it just popped, into my, <laughs> popped into my head, the piano yeah. music. Um, but, it's, but it's true, you know, writing the thankful list is not this generic thing. That, oh, let's just write a grateful list. It, it really does work. I've, I've come to understand that once I started doing it. You keep it in a notebook, however you want to do it. You know, write, write it down. Write the things that you're grateful for. All right, and you'll find, wow, you know what? There's so much in my life already to feel joy about to feel happiness about, to feel peace about, to feel like, oh my gosh, I'm fulfilled with this. There really is. And they don't have to be huge things. They can be small little things. You could be grateful for just a, a cup of tea or favorite food. It could be grateful, of course, for your for your shelter, right, for your food. But um, even the, the, the littlest of things to be grateful for, um, put it down on, on your list, and it just starts getting you into the mode of being thankful. It just starts getting you into that programming of being thankful and it's really super important because the more you get used to that the more it becomes you it becomes where you're operating from and the more the universe can respond to that right so try that um before you go to sleep it's a good time to do it as well you might want to do it first thing in the morning you might want to do it as the last thing at night um to be grateful be grateful, write down a list, think about things you're grateful, and when you're praying, being grateful. Um, I want to talk about that. I want to talk about um, prayer. I want to talk about prayer work for a second and what we can do. Um, sometimes people do get into doing a lot of asking, and we want we want things. We want things, oh dear God, or oh goddess, or you know, universe, we want to we ask, but sometimes we forget to think. Um, when we're thanking for things that we haven't received yet, it's considering them done. We're trusting it. Be thankful that the universe is bringing you those things. And that's just something that I learned works really, really well. You know, even if you didn't receive that health yet, even if you didn't receive that prosperity yet, consider it done. Consider it done. Thank you for this money coming in. Thank you for my prosperity. Considering it done energetically right here and right now is what brings it into manifestation. And I think some people don't realize that. And we have to realize that we, as beings who are awakened beings, we are manifesting and we're realizing that the 5D is something that's to be lived here and now. It's not about past or future or timelines or any restrictions or limitations. It's about here and now. 
So just realizing that is, is super important and being able to, um, to work with that. Don't take anything for granted. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything for you guys. Um, the universe is going to bring you more, the more of what you're connecting to in a positive way. Okay, and, you know, and that's what's really important to understand. And I hope that, you know, this video has helped you to realize, hey, being grateful is something that's going to open those doors. And also to realize if you are in this depressive state or if you're in anxiety with the news and the things that are going on this year, um, take yourself away from those things. Take yourself away from everything that's going on right now and just step into that gratitude and that positivity because right now where there's a timeline split between people who are falling into the lower collective of fear and they're just kind of being swallowed up in it and then there are others too who are realizing hey i'm not a victim to the world i am a creator i am a manifester i'm living the best life right now right because they're not getting caught up in the illusions they're not getting caught up in the fear and the ego they are absolutely connecting to the fact that they are a powerful being and they are using that to their best advantage so for manifesting yeah you can there's so many ways you know putting your intentions out there you know this magical practice and all of those things um but I, I have to say give gratitude a decent shot and see how things go. I would love to hear. Please leave me some comments below. If you're already working with a gratitude list or a gratitude practice, let me know. Um, I would love to hear from you as to how that's been going. Uh, if you're thinking about adding gratitude more into your manifesting, making it a way of life for you, leave me comments below. And I'm here. If you're feeling like you're struggling, if you are feeling like um, you're having some blocks to work through and you really need to hear from, uh, perhaps you're not listening or, or you can't really connect with your team or you're not trusting what's coming through. I can connect with your team. I can connect with the archangels and we can find out in detail. We can find out through live sessions. They're not recorded, no cards directly from your team and from the archangels. What might be blocking you from, really stepping into your power and living your best life. And I'm here for twin flames, but I'm here for non-twin flames as well. All you need to do is connect with me on theparanormalpriestess.com. I'm going to leave that down below. Just check in with me, and I will check to see if it's a vibrational match. And if it is, then we can go about booking that. I'd love to, to help you out with that. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening. Much gratitude to all of you. And remember, from the heart of the darkness is born the light, brightest blessings, and I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.